welcome to homeopathic pharmacy academia in this video lecture i am going to discuss about the solid vehicle lactose which is a very commonly used homeopathic vehicle in preparation of homeopathic medicine as well as dispensing of homeopathic medicine lactose is otherwise known as saccharum lactis here the saccharum means sugar and lactis means sugar saccharum means sugar and lactis means milk so it is the sugar taken from milk so it is also known as saccharum lactose or sugar of milk very commonly known as sugar of milk now the chemical formula of lactose or saccharum lactose is c12 h22 o11 h2o and why lactose is used as homeopathic vehicle because of some reasons that lactose is the most least sugar content uh, substance it is uh, least sweety sugars so that is the one reason of uh, lactose is being used as homeopathic vehicle another uh, property of lactose is it is uh, gritty in nature which helps in the trituration process of preparation of homeopathic medicine so these are the properties of uh, lactose which enable it uh, used as homeopathic vehicle the molecular weight is 360.3 and it is obtained from goat's milk why goat's milk is used because it is rich in lactose and lactose or sugar of milk you know it is a sugar it is a, a disaccharide which contains one unit of beta beta glucose and one unit of uh, liver glucose let us see the preparation of lactose in detail i told you lactose or sugar of milk which is used in uh, homeopathic pharmacy is prepared from uh, goat's milk goat's milk undergoes skimming and skimming is a process of removing fat from the milk and the remaining milk contains the sugar and other nutrients like vitamins and other nutrients now the process of skimming is done by different methods and most easiest method is the milk is allowed to cool so that the fat is settled over the top and we can remove fat manually so that is a process of skimming now once the fat is removed from the milk by the process of skimming add dilute hydrochloric acid and filter it and this is to uh, remove the protein and once the fat and uh, protein is removed the resultant product which we obtained contains lactose and water which is known as whey and once you add the dilute hydrochloric acid the protein in the milk will be denatured and that will be settled over the top of the uh, solution so we can manually remove it and the resultant what we obtain is called as whey which contains only lactose and uh, water and some uh, trace minerals add purified water and then filter it through a charcoal bed so this charcoal bed will uh, uh, filter the uh, other unwanted substances as well as the color and what we obtain is 
the way the clear solution of way so once we remove the color and other unwanted substances uh, the resultant what we obtain is a clear solution of way with this clear solution of way it should be boiled on the direct heat and made into semi solid once the uh, the liquid part is evaporated it becomes semi solid substance now the semi solid lactose to the semi solid lactose we should add strong alcohol and purified water and this is to purify the lactose once we add strong alcohol and purified water and it should be boiled in first in direct heat and second next indirect heat so in the indirect heat we are not heating it directly either we can uh, heat it uh, with a uh, water bath or other any other method which that which does not directly heat it and once it is heated by adding strong alcohol and purified water the semi solid lactose is converted into solid one or it is known as a crystal lactose now this crystal lactose add slight alcohol and dry it and this is again for purification once it is dried by adding slight alcohol it becomes a pure crystals of lactose and this pure crystals of lactose is allowed to grind with mortar and pestle and made it into a powdered form and thus we got lactose powder which is known as commercial lactose and this commercial lactose is not suited for pharmaceutical preparation that is to prepare medicines for this we need to purify it again so now i am going to explain about the purification of lactose which is known as steps process and this process of purification of lactose was discovered by one of the disciple of hanuman who is ernest stapp so that is how, why it is known as stapp's process now let us see what is stapp's process 1 pound of crystal lactose that is the commercial lactose added with 4 pounds of boiled water boiling distilled water so it will be dissolved in boiling water the solution is filtered when it is warm so once it is uh, heated then the lactose will be dissolved in the water the boiling water and uh, this with this dissolved lactose we filter it the filtrate thus obtained is thoroughly mixed with 4 pounds of absolute alcohol you know absolute alcohol is the most purest form of alcohol which uh, contains uh, theoretically 99 percentage of alcohol but Uh, practically it is 99 percentage alcohol because uh, being alcohol being a hygroscopic substance it may absorb some moisture from the atmosphere so we are adding this filtrate with 4 pounds of the most pure form of alcohol that is absolute alcohol the whole vessel is tightly kept closed and kept aside so that the sugar may crystallize once the crystal lactose is added with absolute alcohol it should be closed tightly and kept in that is for the purification purpose after 3 or 4 days a thin layer is seen settled at the bottom of the vessel and this crystallized mass is collected and washed in distilled water to some alcohol is already added so with this crystallized mass uh, we should add the distilled water and already it contains some sort of alcohol in it 
and this uh, this is uh, to wash out uh, if any traces of impurities in the in the uh, lactose and these crystals are dried by pressing between the filter papers and thus we obtain the powdered pure lactose and that can be preserved for the uh, use for preparing uh, medicines homeopathic medicines so this is how uh, the lactose is purified by the method of stamps process now let us see the properties of lactose so what are the properties of lactose which enable it to use as a homeopathic purgative it is milky white in color so you know milk is white in color so the lactose also having a milky white in color it is a hard crystalline mass of powder and i told you before because of this property lactose is a most preferred solid vehicle for the preparation of medicine especially in the trituration of homeopathic medicines so there should be some crystalline nature is preferred for trituration then only the trituration will be more effective it is odorless and it tastes slightly sweet sandy or gritty feeling on touch it is stable in air but readily absorbs odors so it should be preserved with carefully otherwise it may become uh, uh, some odors and the color may be changed if it is not preserved properly next is the solubility of lactose that is very very important 1 gram is soluble in 5 ml of water whereas 2.6 ml of boiling water 1 gram will soluble in 2.6 ml of boiling water and it is very slightly soluble in alcohol so lactose is very very slightly soluble in alcohol and it is practically insoluble in chloroform and either so to dissolve lactose the best uh, solvent is uh, boiling water so that is why uh, in uh, stamps process we are uh, dissolving the uh, one pound of lactose in uh, four pounds of boiling water its solution is neutral to litmus because it is neither acidic or nor alkaline optical rotation is dextro 55.3 degree it may produce water of crystallization so that is why in in the formula it is uh, c12 h22 o11 h2o so it is always associate with water so the intermolecular space in the lactose is uh, lodged with the uh, molecules of water so that that is the property known as water of crystallization now the impurities in lactose so what we, let us see what are the impurities in lactose and how we can remove or how we can identify the impurities in lactose the first one is starch you know starch is much cheaper than lactose so it can be added to lactose uh, as a impurity or an adulterant and it increases the bulk of the or weight of the lactose so how we can identify lactose uh, uh, starch in the lactose so you know uh, iodine solution is a reagent used to identify starch when you add iodine solution to the lactose if the starch is present it turns to blue color so thus we can identify whether the starch is present in lactose next is the acid radical and normally lactose is neutral that is neither acidic nor alkaline sometimes the acid may be present as an impurity in that case we can identify it by uh, checking it with uh, a uh, litmus paper 
If you blue litmus paper changes into red, that indicates the presence of acid radical in the lactose. The next uh, impurity is alum, that is aluminum oxide. So uh, this is added to the lactose uh, or it may be uh, present if the lactose is prepared in aluminum vessels. And how we can identify it? To the lactose, we should add sodium hydroxide and if any white precipitate is obtained, then that indicates the presence of alum. Now the chlorides and phosphates. So how we can identify the presence of chlorides and phosphate? To the solution of lactose, we add a small quantity of silver nitrate. And if any yellow precipitate, yellow or white precipitate is obtained, then that indicates the presence of chloride and phosphate. Now next important impurity in lactose is copper. So how copper comes as an impurity in lactose because uh, the lactose, the preparation is done in copper vessels. So that may be the reason why the copper comes as an impurity in lactose. So how we can identify it? So to lactose, we add a, a potassium ferrocyanate. Uh, if the presence of reddish color is obtained, then uh, uh, that indicates the presence of copper in lactose. So th thus we can identify the impurities in lactose, the chemical impurities in lactose. Now let us see the uses of lactose. The uses of lactose, I told you in the beginning, it is the most common homeopathic solid vehicle used as a for a dispensing of homeopathic medicines. It is having a good preservative property. So once you prepare a medicine or dispense a medicine, we can store it for a, a preserve for a long time, provided it should be preserved properly. And it is an ideal vehicle for trituration because of it is a grittiness or sandy feeling which helps a more uh, effective uh, trituration process. Drug insoluble in liquid vehicles are triturated with sugar alcohol. So that is the purpose of, of trituration. So normally medicines are soluble in uh, liquid vehicles like alcohol or water. So if any substances, any drug substance which is not soluble or insoluble in these liquid vehicles are to be triturated with sugar alcohol with the help of motor and person. It can be also used to dispense Placebo. Now, what is placebo? Placebo is a non-medicinal substance uh, which can be administered to patient if a doctor uh, thinks that the medicine is not necessary. In the case of uh, indisposition, indisposition is a condition where uh, there is no need of any medicine, but some changes in the diet and regimen can restore the health of the patient. In such cases, the patient is not intended to give any medicine. In that case, a doctor can give a placebo to the patient to pacify patient or to uh, develop the confidence in patient. That is one condition. Another condition is if a doctor is prescribing a medicine in a single dose, and if a patient is asked to come uh, after one week or two weeks, then the doctor may prescribe placebo uh, along with the medicines. So that is another condition. Now, next to use of, uh, so the lactose is uh, uh, used as a, an ideal placebo. Lactose is also used to prepare tinger triturates, tablet triturates, and tablets. So tinger triturates nothing but like insoluble drug substance. The mother tinger is also can be triturated with lactose, which is known as tinger triturates. 
And with, with this ginger triterate, if you are making any tablet, then it is known as tablet triterate. And the actual tablets also can be prepared with the lactose. Lactose is another, uh, otherwise uh, used as a temporary diet for babies, especially if, uh, if uh, babies are not or kids are not taking the milk, we can uh, give lactose because it contains uh, the milk sugar. And it can be also used uh, in case of uh, any constipation in babies. So this is about the lactose and we have discussed about preparation method, purification method, properties of lactose and the utility of lactose and this is very very important for uh, BHMS first year exam. Thank you all.